Hey friends, it's Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day in just a minute. Let me ask you, have you signed up for Calvary's 24 hours of prayer? Now remember, we're not asking you to pray for 24 hours, although you can if you want. We're asking you to sign up in 15 minute increments from August 7th, beginning around noon or beginning at noon for 24 hours. The link is included above and we're asking you to sign up two ways. One, come into our, our worship center and pray there or you can sign up and pray virtually online. Uh, we want to make sure that we are covering our schools, our community and our church in prayer as the schools and really our community reopen. Do you, let's jump into our word for the day. Do, do you see your sin from the same angle as God sees your sin? See, in the, in the Bible, there was a guy named David. David did not see his sin from the same view as God. See, God sees our sin through the cross, through the atoning death of Jesus. David did not. In Psalm 38, David, who the Bible describes as a man after God's own heart, is beating himself up once again because of his sin. He is depressed, he is anguished, he is empty. Listen to the cry of his heart from Psalm 38. O oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Your arrows have struck deep and your blows are crushing me. Because of your anger, my whole body is sick. My health is broken because of my sins. My guilt overwhelms me. It is a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and stink because of my foolish sins. I am bent over and racked with pain. All day long I walk around filled with grief. A raging fever burns within me and my health is broken. I am exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. You know what I long for, Lord. You hear my every sigh. My heart beats wildly. My strength fails and I'm going blind. My loved ones and friends stay away, fearing my disease. Even my own family stands at a distance. Meanwhile, my enemies lay traps to kill me. Those who wish me harm make plans to ruin me. All day long they plan their treachery, but I am deaf to all their threats. I am silent before them as one who cannot speak. I choose to hear nothing and I make no reply. For I am waiting for you, O Lord. You must answer me, O Lord, my God. I pray don't let my enemies gloat over me or rejoice at my downfall. I'm on the verge of collapse, facing constant pain. But I confess my sins. I am deeply sorry for what I have done. I have many aggressive enemies. They hate me without reason. They repay me evil for good and oppose me for pursuing good. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Do not stand at a distance, my God. Come quickly to help me, O Lord, my Savior. David's view of the sin he had committed, uh, he, he believed that God was going to punish him for his sin. He was broken. He was fearful. He became paranoid about his enemies. He felt vulnerable. He was crushed, as he described. He was overwhelmed with pain. David believed God could abandon him and stay distanced from him. But God's view of the sin David had committed is that the love of God reached into the past and through the sacrifice of Jesus, the penalty for his sin was paid. As followers of Jesus, sometimes we are drawn to Old Testament heroes' view of sin. They convey their view of sin. It's, it's a brokenness that they communicate, a contrite spirit, and even a fear when they did anything that went opposite to what God wanted for their lives. We are attracted to that, but we understand we do deserve death. But I wonder if God would rather us focus on forgiveness... I wonder if God would rather see uh, us view sin from his lens with grace and mercy. 
See, I think there is some benefit to viewing our sin in the same way as the prophets of the Old Testament did. It helps to help us to hate sin as much as God does. But I think there is a greater blessing in understanding that Jesus paid it all. So take some time today and thank Jesus for the price he paid for your sin. Thank him for paying for your debt and setting you free. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, leave a comment, and share it on your social media page. God bless.